some publishers have categorized the heavy-duty method as one set to failure, hard on the joints, dangerous, ultimately ineffective. As you've uh, not been around that much recently, these comments have been made without, without fear of your rebuttal. I was wondering if you'd care to set the record straight. Well, I, I've never advocated just one set for body. That's just, yeah, that's another question I have, too. I never remember you saying that, but that's what they're, they're putting those words in your mouth. Yeah, I, I've never advocated training as heavy as possible just for the sake of heavy training. Um, a lot of people still confuse heavy duty with just heavy, heavy training and high intensity training. And high intensity training can be very low force training where there's very little stress on the joints or relatively low stress on the joints. Um, yeah, a lot of people say, say things about heavy duty training based on hearsay and not having read my book's articles. So I don't put much stock in what they say. No, well, good for you. I'm, I'm always open to a logical argument and reason, of course. Um, I never, I never even suggested that I had the final word or the last word on bodybuilding. Um, if someone was able to, to logically prove that the conceptual framework that supported heavy duty was somehow an error, I, I'd be more than uh, ecstatic even to, to, to learn about my mistake. Yeah, I'm more interested in the truth than being proved right or wrong. 